So that's the blue bells done. That's all we're going to do. We, that, that was just a sort of an added bonus as we we're walking through. It's now time to uh, to fly and go and see those. Let's do that again because it sounded like I said. Previously on the Busy Man's Guide. What are you saying? Wagwan. Wagon wheel. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? What are you saying? Unfortunately, we weren't lucky this time. Yeah, I'm keeping this. Yeah. That's all right, sorry. Are you ready to go into the woods, Steve? Say yes, Paul. Yeah. Okay, I'm being very, very quiet because on the way to see the, the, the kites, we think we've seen a family of pheasants. A little bit disappointing that we didn't get the kites coming down, so that's, as I say, strike two for me. Oh, hello. Welcome back to the Busy Man's Guide. Mr. Paul Adams here and Steve, who doesn't want to be on camera today. I'm a bit of a glutton for punishment today because we've come back for Mark Three, Strike Three, or Take Three, if you like, at Coley's Wood here in the Oxfordshire countryside. Last time we were here, we uh, were outwitted by some little feathery friends. And before that, we were outwitted by some bigger feathery friends. So today we're gonna try one more time. Well, I'm gonna try one more time because he's already got his shots. I'm gonna try one more time to get some decent shots of some red kites and also get some of those bluebells as well whilst they're still in season. So why don't you come with us? Oh. I've always got to carry you, haven't I? So Steve is testing out his macro tubes that he's got that he's completely obsessed with. And I'm gonna give it a go on my old Canon with the 55 to 250 mil tele telephoto lens. And uh, yeah, see what we come up with. Yeah, it's the first time I've done bluebell shots uh, because every time we come, they're always dead. and. They're dying now, so we better be quick. Okay, we are here, uh, part of Aston Rowan and Coley's Wood. This is actually the Wormley Estate. Uh, where we were before, trying to chase those little buggers. And there's no crops here this time, and we are elevated and have just seen a kite down there. Um, yes, the, the kites didn't give us a lot of time to get set up, and then, and then within a matter of seconds, they're gone again. So uh, we're all set up, ready on the tripod, and we're on, we're on standby, we're digging in and uh, enjoying some nice Morrison's coffee. Thanks, Morrison's. I sat down, set up, sat down on a wet patch, story of my life, and uh, Steve's sitting there in his nice little chair, and he's got, <laughs> I can't show you because he doesn't want to be on camera, but uh, he's got this little setup where he's, yeah, it looks all right. Um, he looks like one of those street surveyors. Uh, we've got a little area where we're hoping that the, the, the kites will come down to. I can see one to the left, Steve, uh, in the distance. I've got my camera on live mode, so literally on a remote, just press my camera. Now I can't go across to see that kite because I've set my camera up. I could do, but I'm trying to hide out the way so that the kite doesn't see me and wants to come towards us, but I've got a feeling that's not going to happen. So I could get up and take that picture and change my shot, but change my composition. I think I'm going to leave it and let the universe decide. 
we'll see. I'll come back to you in a minute. I've got to try and turn off the camera. I should set up the remote on the other phone. I've got three phones with me as well, so. I'm not a drug dealer or anything like that. Okay, so Murphy's Law or Sod's Law will say that just like just now, which you probably saw the outtake, the kites will come back. But I think it's time to call it a day. We got some good shots, I think. Uh, both Steve and I, Steve and I, Steve and I, Steve, you right, Steve? Both Steve and I got some similar shots, so they probably will be very, very similar because we're positioned similarly. And obviously the, the kites flew over us, but uh, I think on part three, third time lucky, managed to finally get the kites here at Cowley's Wood. I was going to say Bowley's Cove, but that's on the Dorset coastline. Uh, so that's it for today. Um, it's my birthday on Tuesday, so, but this will probably go out afterwards. So it'll be my birthday just gone on Tuesday. So I'm going to take a bit of a break. I am. I'm not really going to take a break because the matter. I, I, I'm not that regular on YouTube anyway, so it, it makes no difference at all. Um, remember to stay sharp, stay focused, and stay busy. And it's goodbye from him because he doesn't want to be on camera. And uh, yeah, like Ronnie Corbett said, bye. <laughs>